On today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. You want up? Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It was uh, 20 foot wide, 21 foot long, the roof anyway. That'll work. The guy was pretty good at leveling stuff up. Might try to put some doors on this, I don't know. Keep stuff out of the sun, out of weather. Gotta have it down here in Florida. Gotta have it. A few moments later. Number five. Trying out these new, well, I bought them a few years ago, but they were like $65 glasses. And I kept them as a backup, but never used them. We'll see how they work today. Got to do a Home Depot trip, Walmart trip. Not necessarily in that order. Oops. Now I got a big bridge on my nose. So this piece here is way too small for me. My bridge is probably as big as my thumb. I got that guinea nose, you know, up at the top. But yeah, you probably saw it in the, when I was testing this camera, <laughs> the Ordro. So, that's completed, boys. Took um, two and a half to three hours. I can't, somewhere in between there. That's it. Looks pretty good. So my son's gonna mow today. We're gonna pick up some black iron pipe so we can raise that portable building up. Probably a foot and a half. I think the foot and a half will probably do it because we had to take off my little windshield, remember? This barely fit in here. So, pound them in the ground, foot and a half, stake it back down again. I think it'll be perfect. I was going to move this boat in the new carport but the carport is 20 feet like that that means the tongue would be sticking out further i was thinking about closing this in and getting two small overhead doors possibly and just close it all in and then there'd be some place at least a kind of garage that can be worked out of you could put patio blocks down or whatever patio blocks would be fine for now so you want to jack something up or I suppose it could be dug out and have a slab poured there I don't want to get too crazy they put a double wide in there a while ago and it must have been an investment because that place is flooded as you could see when I did the aerial so I imagine that's what they're doing now is probably fixing a road that comes in that'd be my guess These are them cheap $65 glasses. I can tell already this is because I have a big bridge nose. It'd be better without it like that. So much for the $60 glasses. I went to open them up and it cracked. They're done. Junk. Moments later. Glued it. No folding it now. Maybe it'll hold. Gorilla crazy glue. Took forever to dry though. Well, I fixed the one arm, or whatever you call it, that goes over your ear on these glasses. They're permanent now. <laughs> Guess we'll see how low light recording is on this.
all the flooding's gone in most of the areas, but there's still some places that actually have flooding still. There's still like some water. We picked up the steel roofing ridge and some white flashing. I guess we're gonna see how it works on on that roof. Got to be better than what's up there. Might be a little wavy. The roof's solid, but it's an old roof, and she's wavy. So this is the carport. 20 wide, 21 long. Casting couch. You know anybody wants a couch? Futon? Fulton? So I haven't decided if I should put the boat in here, which is kind of one of the reasons why I wanted it. But it's not going to be able to be closed in unless I make some kind of a, a tarp that'll close it off which may be what I do because the tongue is going to stick out with the engine against that container the hull of the pontoon boat will probably be about here which is like what it is out there so that means the tongue is going to stick out a little bit so that's what's up Look what I found. Look at that little guy. He's cute. Look at the yellow tail. It's I don't orange. think I ever seen or uh, yeah. I don't think I ever seen one with an orange tail. That's cool. He's a little guy. There you go ahead, boy. Go ahead. Good assortment of hot sauces. Uh, I gotta get that. Jalapeno hot sauce, my favorite. And you get a gator claw. Yeah. I'm gonna try a little local ice cream shop here. Never been in there yet. How you doing? Good, how are you? What kind of ice cream you got? I have our own uh, homemade flavors. We have over 40 flavors. Uh, we also carry Italian ice. Um, and we also have our adult flavors that have uh, some alcohol in them. Oh, I see. Yeah, rum raisin. Yeah, rum raisin, slide, French toast. Uh, they're all really good. They're all homemade. And uh, again, we have about 40, 40 uh, flavor options for you. We also carry Italian ice that we make at home, or make right here as well. Uh, we make our own waffle cones and waffle bowls. Nice. You do soft ice cream? We will be doing soft serve ice cream, soft serve Sundays, and our version of the uh, Blizzard uh, probably within the next three or four weeks, and uh, you know other other Sundays as well. We do uh, banana splits, hot fudge Sundays, uh, turtles, you know, etc. Nice. I'll definitely stop back when there's some soft ice cream too. Thank you. I'm gonna do the Reese's, and I think I'll have it. I'll, I'll have it in a bowl. The waffle bowl? Yes, thank you. Ah, it's good. That's ah, really good. Totally forgot to review. How was yours? Good. One to ten. Nine. Yeah, mine was, I'd say nine and a half. Almost ten, it was pretty good. It was almost ten. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.